Okay, I have a lot of stuff here, but in short, I'm going to show you all the steps and all the physics of why this can be used as a microphone. So we're going to make a drill into a microphone. So we got a lot of stuff to do before that, so let's get started. Number one, I have here a battery. Hope you can see that okay. And forgive my mess, I am trying a new setup here. Here is a battery. And here is a compass, a magnetic compass. Now, what I want you to do is watch that needle. I'm going to put this wire right over that needle, and now I'm going to connect it. So there will be a current running through the wire right over the needle. And you see that the needle moves. So the electric current makes a magnetic field. We can use this idea to make an electric motor. This is a battery, like I said. This is magnet wire. Magnet wire is enamel coated wire. And this is important because when I make this into a loop with the enamel coating, it cannot conduct to itself. So it forces the current to come through here and make these loops. The more loops that you have, the stronger the magnetic field it makes. Now, I'm going to rest this on these two metal posts right there. Uh, and there is an, I, so I have shaved off part of the enamel on the ends of the wire so that it can conduct in one setting but not the others. And that's important to get it to rotate all the way around. Now the other thing that I have here is a very strong magnet. Okay, you can get these, they're not too expensive. But I'm going to put this in here, right there. Now I'm going to hold my magnet over it and give it a little tap. This is takes a little bit of practice. Let me switch this around. Just bear with me. There you go. It's an electric motor. Not a very good electric motor, but it is. So an electric motor, a DC electric motor, has a battery with, that supplies a current into a coil of wire with a magnet. And that's important. Okay. Now, let's do something else with this magnet. Uh, Take that off. Oh, I lost my cup. Oh, here it is. It fell down. Okay. So here I have this is a, oh, did you see that? <laughs> this is a current meter, very sensitive current meter. And to that, I have more magnet wire. This one's green. Uh, and again, shaved off the ends, wrapped around the cup. And it doesn't have to be around the cup for this, but it just helps it because I'm going to use, use it for later. So now what happens when I move my magnet into the, the coil of wire? Watch this. Watch the needle. Now if I just have the magnet there, I get no current. It's a change in magnetic field that makes a current. Okay, so a current makes a magnetic field. A changing magnetic field makes a current. That's pretty important. And this is what we need for our generator. A generator, I have one right here. Let's move this out of the way. I have lots of toys today. Here's my hand crank generator. This is uh, something that I purchased. It's not actually mine. And it has an electric motor in there. So if I take these two things in here, and remember that electric motor is a coil of wire and a magnet. And I'm going to spin the coil of wire by turning the crank right here. And we can see what happens to the bulb. Nothing, because it's a burnt out bulb. That's a bummer. OK, well, just imagine that it lights up. That's not too exciting. It would light up. It's pretty cool. Uh, so that's a hand crank generator. What it's doing is it's rotating that coil, changing the magnetic field in the coil, which induces a current, and you can light that bulb. Now, I could also take my battery and hook it up to the generator. I already told you that this was a motor. I'm just showing you that it is indeed a motor. OK, so that's a motor slash generator. Why do we care about motors? Because the electric drill is an electric motor. I don't know if you knew that. Okay, so next I'm going to show you a speaker. Here 
is my uh, same coil of wire and I have wrapped it around here, this cup. Now I'm going to take my magnet, my strong magnet, and I'm going to put my cup on top of it. The next thing I want to do is I want to plug this into my computer right here. So I have uh, an earphone cable that I've cut. And this one has, this one just has two wires. A lot of them have three. I think that's okay. And I'm going to connect these two. I have some clips right here I can use this with. So I'm just going to clip this. And if you don't have a powerful magnet, you can use terrible magnets, but it won't be as good. And I don't even know if this is going to play very well. Okay, so what I want to do is put that right there. Let's record some audio with, I'm using Audacity. If it's a free app uh, and it's pretty good. So input device is going to be the MacBook Pro speaker. Record. This is a test. This is just a test. Okay, and I have the output going to here. So you may not be able to hear, but I'm going to play it. I don't hear. All right, let's change this to. This is a. Okay, that was just that. So it's not playing for some reason. I have my output. to audio device play. Hmm. Something's not work. Oh, you know what? It's not connected. That's why. Look at that. My wire came off. That one's connected. This one is not. I guess I should twist it closed. And now you may think, hey, if this were a finely edited video, you wouldn't do this. But it's not. It's just me. Okay, now we're here we go. It's going to work. No. Okay, it actually does work. You can't hear it because it's not very good, but it does indeed work. So. What's happening here is that the computer makes an electric current that uh, goes through these coil of wires, and that current pushes against the magnet to make sound, and that pushes the air. Let me just show you how that would work. That magnet, man. Here is an actual speaker. I'll just connect that. I don't even want to connect it really, but let's see if this one works okay. This is just a better version of the same thing. It's still a coil of wire and a magnet. I don't like that one. Clip that there. Okay, now let's try it. Okay, I'm going to hold this up. It's still not very good. I'm going to, because this is made for uh, a, high, a higher current. So I'm going to play it. Yeah, you can't hear it, but it does indeed play. Trust me. If you had this up to your ear, you would hear it fine. Okay, so that's a speaker. Now, what about a microphone? So I have this little uh, audio input output USB thing, and I also have the mic input. Let's take this, oh, it's right up here. These two wires are connected to the speaker, the microphone input. So I'm gonna put my little clips here, my other one. I'm gonna connect this. I'm going to now delete my video, my audio file, start over. 
delete that. I want my input device to be my audio, USB audio, my output device to be my the speakers in the computer. Okay, so let's try that again. I'm gonna go over here to record. I'm talking into a speaker. And I can play that. And you hear nothing. Let's increase the, let's see, wait. Might be, should work. I'm talking into a speaker. I don't hear anything. Hmm. Let's just change this test. Let's let's quit this. Let's see if that works. If that works. Are you guys having fun? I am. Okay, input is going to be unknown device, record. This is a speaker. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I have this turned on all the way. Let's try that again. I am talking into a speaker. What? At least it said something, right? Okay, this is not doing well, though. Hmm. Okay, I think there's a short. I Oh, it's not connected. Okay, one more try. So here is that wire. I think the problem is I'm shorting it out with my clips. Last try. I am talking into a speaker. Yeah, that got it. I am talking into a speaker. Yay, okay. So a speaker and a microphone are the same thing. I could, in fact, use this as my microphone with that magnet, but it's even gonna be worse and you really can't hear anything. So that's cool. Um, and I'm not gonna do that. Let's go ahead and use the drill. So I'm gonna take that off. I don't wanna use this as my speaker or microphone. I'm gonna use this. So this is a cordless DC drill. I have a screwdriver in here because the idea is that if I can turn this motor back and forth to the sound of, to the frequency of the sound, it can record it. So I'm gonna take the battery out. Don't want the battery. Now, if you look inside, you see those two connectors down there. That's where the battery connects. What I want to do is connect these two to my audio input. So I have here my two wires. I'm going to take these off. It turns out these banana plugs fit right into there. So I'm going to just jam this in there. Now I'm going to jam this one in here. There we go. Okay, so now, I, if, I, if I talk, it's not gonna do anything. I need to hold the trigger down because the trigger has a switch between the battery and the motor, so I need to hold that down and I can talk into it. So I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna delete everything. I'm going to record and I'm gonna say uh, something. And I gotta be loud because it's not a very good microphone. Here we go. Mary had a little lamb. Okay, I'm going to do that again because what you don't want to do is move the thing. I want to start it and stop it while I have the trigger down because when you turn the trigger on and off, it actually makes a really loud noise and it messes everything up. So let's do it again. So I'm going to hold down the trigger. I'm going to press record. Mary had a little lamb. And stop it. Okay, now let's look at what we got and let's see if we can get the sound out of that. We I'm not an audacity expert, okay? I just, that's just not one of the things I do, but I do know a couple things. So let's just look at the computer here. Uh, let's bring this down. 
Let's just play it and see if I can hear it. I'm going to increase the uh, gain. Okay. I actually can hear that. Uh, so let's do multi view. Let's see if you can see both those. So here is. You can't really see it in the spectrogram, but you can indeed hear it. Trust me on that. Zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom in. Okay, well, I'm not going to mess around with it. If you play with this and you listen hard, you can hear it. It says Mary Had a Little Lamb. There's a lot of static. It's not a very good speaker, but it it's not a very good microphone. It is indeed a microphone. Uh, it could also be a speaker. If you plug that up into an audio source and hold it up next to your ear, you will hear it. It will be a better speaker than it is a microphone. But there you go. That's electric current, magnetic fields, how to make a speaker from a drill.